How you doing? So I decided to make a short version of who would I pick in Saga Sector. This time I'm only going to tell you which champion I will use. So this is going to be the short version. I also want to redo it because uh, seeing, hearing what I was saying the first time, it was really hard for me to hear myself or understand myself. So if, if, for, if I can understand myself, how would I expect you to understand myself? So I, I, would, I would imagine it was hard for you to understand what I was talking about. So I'm just going to give you know, a short version of who to pick for the Saga Sector. So who do I, would I pick? Angela. So, so this is my highest damage with Angela in Incursion. So let's look, um, so if you're wondering as well, if you don't want to use Angela or you don't have a high rank Angela, okay? So if you don't want to use Angela, I'll talk about it a little bit later. But if you follow my channel or you, uh, or you watch my videos, you know, I've soloed the hardest boss in Incursion using a 5 star Angela. You see this damage right here, 345 million. This is with a five star Angela. And I'm gonna show you some other gameplay, so let's take a look at it. This is one of the hardest boss in incursion. So I don't know if you notice it. There's conflictor, fight or flight. What else? Which one is the first one? Unblockable opener, evasive maneuver, and this is Come on, come on. Ay caramba. Let's go. It's kind of weird. He has fight or flight two times. I was kind of staring at that. Like, what's going on? Come on. Come on. I should just edit this, huh? All right. Whatever. How many times do I have to look at the note? <laughs> what is going on? Okay. As you can see here. This, this is Morningstar, so I have class disadvantage here. I'm up against Morningstar with over 300,000 attack and almost 4.3 million health. So he has Conflictor, Evasive Maneuver, Unblockable Opener, Unstoppable something. I forgot what it is exactly. So let's see how well Angela does. And keep in mind, this is with class disadvantage, okay? So let's see. How long does it take? For Angela to beat this. And look at this. I'm using a 5 star Angela. Okay. 5 star Angela. There you go. As you can see. Conflictor. It didn't even. It didn't even trigger. Because I threw my special one. Before it triggered. 11 seconds. 11 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I just want to let you know. As you can see by the PI. Of Morningstar here. It's over a million. So. It's, I'm a little disappointed when it comes to the incursion, especially when the Saga Sector, they nerfed the top three broken champions. Perhaps I'm going to talk about it in a different video, but they nerfed Angela, Hela, and Aegon. Uh, so why is, you know, so what happened is instead of going to zone 25, they decided to make it to zone 15. So they did lower the, the, the limit. But why is it bad for Angela? Because every fight she wins, she, she gets stronger. So as you can see by Morningstar PI, um, what is this? You could tell it's way beyond past zone 25. Okay, so, and you can see here, this is my highest damage. So if you're only going to zone 15, you're only going to see a tiny fraction of Angela's power. I do want to say if... Um, using a five star which I'm using for the saga sector it's really uh, it's really hard to get past bypass because I do want to say Angela does rely on buffs a lot I mean it does kind of make sense because she's cosmic but you know she does rely on buffs obviously she's a ramp up champion she needs to win fights and when you look at the first zone already it's like the PI is already high, just in zone one from Saga Sector. It's pretty much like equivalent to like zone five or zone six in sector six. So without any ramp up, she's really not easy to play with if you're using a five star, you know. Unless you have you know sweetest skills, 
using a five star in Saga Sector is gonna be really tough. I mean, uh, I know Suida, she he used a six star rank three. Okay, without a relic, six star rank three is equivalent to pretty much like a five star rank five ascended. It's pretty much um, arguable that ascend rank five ascended Angela is stronger than a six star rank three because of the power gain. But yeah, whatever, it's subjective. But he made it to sector um in sector six zone forty three. He made a comment zone forty three in sector six using a six star rank three without a relic so if you have sweetest skills i think five star is good enough and i understand most people are not don't have sweetest skills and i looked at this guy's channel mcoc gladiator so <coughs> so let's take a look at this one as you can see this is zone 15 saga sector boss apocalypse look how fast he did it in 15 seconds as you can see here it says right there Zone 15 Saga Sector Boss, and that's Apocalypse. I I looked at his channel, I'll, I'll put it in the link in the description, but this guy pretty much goes to Sector 6, you know, Saga Sector, and he's soling every boss in Sector 6 and, and Saga Sector, you know. As you could see here, you know, this guy, I don't know what the helpful Apocalypse is, but, and look at this, he's using a 7 star rank 2, Sig, uh, high sig seven star rank two i can't really tell um or he's using a seven star rank three with low sig i can't tell it's one of them for sure obviously but as you could see this guy's pi is only 292 and it took him 15 seconds uh, I'll, I'll, as you see here what's this look at this pi and i'm using a five star that's because angela's a ramp up champion you know so when it comes to Angela, you're only going to see a fraction of Angela's power if you're only going to zone 15. Um, that's kind of the downside when it comes to um, the Saga sector. It's only zone 15. So <clears throat> you're only going to see a tiny fraction of Angela's power. So that's why I, it's really disappointing. They nerf um, Incursion. They nerf Angela. Uh, what else? They not only that they nerfed the rewards. You used to get rewards up to zone twenty five. Now it's only zone fifteen. So so you might want to use a high rank Angela because right now using my five star it's really tough trying to get by sector, you know, saga sector without and I'm trying to do it itemless as well. So so who would I use with Angela? Okay, besides. She you need to have at least a four star Odin with you if you want to bring Angela in incursion. She's pretty much um you want Odin to be in your team. And I've been hearing a lot of people that you, Odin is good for incursion. I, I've never actually used Odin to be honest with you. I only use Angela when I use Odin. I mean I actually saved my video with Angela like going up against 1 million PIs. From zone 67 to past zone 100. And I only use Angela. Because Angela, you know, with the hacks. So what hacks did I use here? I'm going to try to, you know, try to remind yourself what I said. Or just pause the video if you have to. Re rewind it if you need to. I'm just going to tell you once. So this is what I call the ultimate hack. So what hacks did I use to see this damage as well as here. So it's pretty much buff cornucopia. Title combat, keep it going, and defense cascade. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Buff cornucopia, title combat, keep it going, and defensive cascade. So those attacks is just really powerful for Angela. So what else? But you gotta be careful with one eye open, I would say, if you were gonna use those hacks. So if you're a better skilled player, you might be better off with strategic movement then defense cascade keep that in mind so which team would i use with angela if i had to use someone else i would use bullseye uh, bullseye is pretty good you know if the champion is you know not bleed immune bullseye is going to be a great counter okay so as you can see here i'm using a four star bullseye not ascended and you can see by hoax pi it's 
359,000, okay? And you're not even gonna see that PI if you're only going to zone 15. So what hacks were I using here? So in this, I was using buff cornucopia, um, hemostatic charge, tighter combat, and special counter. Let's see here, I wanna show you guys this. Come on, oh man, I missed it. So let's see, hopefully we can see it on the highlights. It is so fast, it's like, uh, every time I try to pause it, I end up missing it. But you'll see it, this is a four star, okay? Not ascended, and that was the first hit. Let's see how much damage, 614,000, okay? That was the first hit with a four star not ascended. So, I don't think, in here, Angela is only benefiting for two hacks, which is buff cornucopia and title combat. You know, I would probably would rather have keep it going, the special counter, because it doesn't really benefit um, Angela having special counter, unless you have Hemos, and really only one fight that would benefit Angela with that hack is against Old Man Logan with Hemostatic Charge because he inflicts bleed on himself. So keep it short and simple. For both sides, you just need Hemostatic Charge, you know, with tighter combat, but even tighter combat is not necessarily if you're only going to zone 15 in Saga Sector. Keep in mind, if you're only going to zone 15, I want to emphasize that, you don't need tighter combat if you're like using a 7 star rank 3, okay? Like, thermostatic is much, you know, it's good enough. And what else? And she's not damage mastery friendly, but so if you are somehow running damage mastery with both side, you need to, um, you need to have buff cornucopia. As you can see in this fight, without buff cornucopia, there was no way I was gonna win. You can see my health. Look at my health. I'm at two percent. Okay, and I have a regen on. If without the, without the regen, I would not make it in this fight. And let me see if I can pause it. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Six hundred and fourteen thousand damage. So I would bring Angela. Um, bullseye. And Odin, if I had to pick uh, what best hacks for both of them to be to work together, uh, personally, I would go with Buff Cornucopia, um, keep it going. Oh, no, no, never mind, not keep it going. You can have Biff keep it going too. So, yeah, yeah, there's two, you can go with two hacks Buff Cornucopia, keep it going, strategic movement, and hemostatic charge. Yeah, that's fine. The, those four is good. So you can really combine a lot of the hacks with uh, Bullseye. But if I had to go with the hacks for Bullseye with Angela, I would go with... What is this? Buff Cornucopia, Hemostatic Charge, Tidal Combat, and Keep It Going. Those are really, I would say, I would keep, I would use with Bullseye and Angela in the same team. So what if you don't want to use... Angela on your team So let me give you guys if I would choose non Angela team. So let's go <clears throat> So I have out Aegon as I mentioned they nerf the top three broken champions Angela Aegon and Hela by nerf by reducing the zone and incursion because they're ramp up champions So as you can see here, I have a six star rank five Ascended Aegon, okay, and I always run damage mastery. So the chances of him hitting 999 in zone 15 in Saga Sector is slim to none, okay. And plus, you pretty much have to use him all the time. You're like, like, really? It's like, yeah, no, it's really disappointing that you know. I'm, talk I'm gonna talk about it in a different video what I think about the Saga Sector changing the zones, but that's a different video, I guess. But if you're, no, not unless you're using really a 5-star Aegon that's not ascended, you know, the chances of you getting to 999 by se Sector 15 is really small. But I've seen other people use uh, Aegon in Incursion, and he's, uh, they, you know, not at 999, but still anywhere from like 300 to 500 hits in the combo meter. It seems still he's still doing well, which is I was expecting to him to be pretty good still, but you still you you don't see Aegon as his max potential. Uh, he's just at nine ninety nine. Aegon is just broken. Uh, I don't even know how that's even a question. 
So that's the unfortunate part about the, the new Saga Sector going to Stone 15. So you could also use Aegon with Angela and Odin on the team. That's up to you. But if I wasn't going to pick, um, who else would I pick that's not? I would, with Angela, it would be No. The good thing with No, he has a really powerful synergy with the Symbiotes. So with Symbiotes, he, he gain, um, when you get knocked out, before you get knocked out, you gain a 10 second indestructible buff. Not only that, you gain a few buff that increase your attack by 50%. But you keep in mind you do lose five percent of your max health. But when you run liquid courage, like you're pretty much be hundred percent poison resistant. So you're like, you're like gaining almost ten percent health and losing five percent health. So you're gaining like netting like five percent health, even though you lose five percent health with this synergy. So who's very powerful with this synergy that I would pick for the saga sector, and I would pick. Venom with it. I've seen some gameplay with Venom, which is kind of expected. That I expect him to be cooking in incursion. Um, just, but I'm surprised nobody's using the no synergy. The no synergy is just really OP for Venom. But best hacks for Venom: Hemostatic Charge, Tidal Combat, Buff Cornucopia, and Compounding Harm. Let me say it again. So, Hemostatic Charge, Tidal Combat. It works really well with buff cornucopia and compounding harm. So, you know, if I don't know if you know this already, but he has a really powerful synergy with. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't just. I should have just added it at the beginning. No, 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 no. This is my bad. My bad. Scorpion, where you at? So he has really powerful synergy with Venom. Uh, with Scorpion, as you if you don't already know. Yes, when it comes to Scorpion, he gains 10% attack for each debuff he applies on the opponent, a, dam a damaging debuff, so it's really powerful for Scorpion, so if the champion is bleed immune, just bring in Scorpion. Also, when it comes to Venom, he gains power from um, when he gains buffs, so it's really, that's the team I would pick if I wasn't going with an Angel team, I would say Scorpion. Venom and no. So there you go. I guess this is somewhat of a short version. Hopefully I sound clearer even though I'm a little sick. So hopefully that works for you guys. Thank you